Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along. I'm Ginny, and as always, I thank you very much for choosing to spend a little time with me. This has been a holiday week here in the United States, so I hope everybody who's here had a wonderful 4th of July. Uh, us, not so much, because um, my dogs really hate the fireworks, like most dogs. Um, so it's always a little bit of a stressful holiday for us. Anyways, today is just a quick little video. Um, this is a review of the Me and Miss Moore Feel Good dress. Um, what do I have to say about this? Let's see. It comes in sizes double extra small through XL. Um, according to their size charts, I would fall in a size medium for, no, sorry, a size large for the bust. Um, so that is what I cut. I cut a straight size large for this one here. Um, this one is made from a, uh, an old bed sheet that I got at the thrift store. Um, and originally, where are my pictures? Uh, originally I thought I would wear this as a, it would be like a wearable muslin. As I was cutting it out, I found a lot more holes and spots on the sheet than I originally thought there were. So then I thought, well, maybe I won't be able to wear it. So this one is not completed. The, the sleeve hems and the skirt hem are not finished. But aside from that, it is finished. And this is a straight size large with no alterations. I will say that this one fits me really well. This has um, sort of an umpire uh, waistline. If you have a larger bust, you may want to just double check that length because it hit me pretty perfectly and I usually have to shorten that on most patterns. So just so you know, double check the length on that. Um, aside from that, I don't think that there were any sizing or fit issues. I think it went together and it measured exactly what she says it's going to measure. Um, it's easy to get on and off. Uh, it felt really comfortable and the instructions and the pattern itself were all top notch, like no, no issues there whatsoever. Um, so this was a large and then I thought, well, I'm, I could potentially, given how this one fit me, I thought I could potentially wear a size medium and it would be a little bit more fitted. So I made the second one, this one here in the medium. Um, and this is a linen that I got from, I think I got this from Blackbird Fabrics last year. Um, so this is a medium and the only alteration I made to this was I, I changed the v-neck to a scoop neck just because I prefer um, a scoop neck. For some reason I just don't like v-necks on me, but that's just a personal thing. Um, I also shortened the skirt three inches. Um, I took an inch out uh, between the top of the pocket and the waist and then I took two inches out below the pocket. And I'm a little bit sorry that I did because looking at the two, like I really felt like the first one was too, lar too long when I first looked at it in the mirror. Um, so I had no issues like shortening it. I thought that'll be perfect. But now looking at it shorter, and you guys tell me what you think. Um, shorter, I feel like it has more of a like a 1930s house dress vibe, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not really what, it's just not really my look. Um, I definitely prefer the longer length. So I will make this again. Um, but I will make it in the longer length and I think I'm going to stick with the large, you guys. You let me know what you think. Um, aside from the, the length, the medium fits perfectly fine, except it is a little bit tight across my back. Now I do have a broader back, so that's probably just my fit issue. Um, but if you're between sizes, um, I would probably go with the larger size. I just feel like it, it's got a cooler vibe in the larger size. Um, so yeah, I, I do love it and I will def definitely wear it. I just think that I like it better in the, the large. So the next one I make, and I am going to make this again. I don't think I said this, this pattern has the short sleeves and then it also has a longer sleeve. And right now I'm having a hard time remembering, but I think it's a three quarter sleeve. She also has a hack in there for putting pleats in the skirt. Um, which looks really cool. So I will definitely be making this again. I'm going to make the longer sleeve version in a darker linen and I will make that for fall. So probably not right away, but sometime in the next month or so I'll make that. 
And um, like I said, I will go, I think I'll go with the size large, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about the difference in the sizes. Um, the other thing I want to say is that she includes in her pattern right up here on page A1, so right up front and center, um, it says the sizes, whatever. It also says what the seam allowances are right here on page one. I love that. So thank you, me and Miss Moore, for that one. I think I think her name is actually Trish. So thank you, Trish, for that. I really appreciate that. Um, I also, when I purchased this dress, I also purchased this one from her. And this one is called the All Seasons Pinafore. I have the pattern put together and cut out and ready to go. I have not cut the fabric for this yet, but I'm hoping to get to that in the next week or so. So when I do, I will um, let you guys know how that turns out. Additionally, um, she does have a few other patterns on her website that look really good. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way that this one came out. So I have no issues buying another pattern from her. Um, a couple of you mentioned this one. It's called this one here called the A-line pleat button top. Um, this is really cute, and she also has a hack in here for turning this into a dress. Um, I'll see if, if there's a picture of it in the dress version. I will put it up here for you because I thought it was really cute as a dress. Yeah, there's a picture here um, of the dress version of that. Um, she also has uh, the Adeline A-line dress. I. I I probably won't buy this one just because I have um, a really similar pattern from Tropical Research. Um, also, just so you know, uh, the one I said has the the pattern I purchased was double extra small through extra large, but she has the plus size version as well, which is a two XL through a six XL. So. She's got a huge range of sizes. They're just broken up into different patterns. Um, and I think that's true for all of her patterns. Um, she also has the artsy smock dress, which um, is also very cute. And she has a hack in there for turning that into a top. So lots of really interesting patterns there. Um, if any of those appeal to you, I highly suggest you give them a try because I, I felt like this was a really good pattern. It was well drafted. And like I said, instructions were good and went together perfectly. Um, I had a little bit of fabric left over after I made that dress because I made it short. Um, and I used that fabric to make this top that I'm wearing right now, which is the Tropical Research Lazy Top. This one is a size medium. I have made this before in a size large. I like them both. They just look different. Um, I just had barely enough to get this one out of it. So, um, yeah. And in the pictures here, I'm also wearing this with the Tropical Research lazy pants. I can't remember what size. Pretty sure I wore a medium in those, but I'm not sure. Um, also really good patterns. Okay. I actually think that that is it for me today, you guys. Um, I found, uh, recently I came across a gal on, um, I think I came across her on Pinterest or maybe here on YouTube. I'm not really sure. Anyways, um, I found that she had a cute, pattern for a free pattern for a pair of drop crotch pants and you guys know how I love my drop crotch pants so I have those cut out and I am going to work on those this week and hopefully I will have those to show with you guys next week um if I do I might do a little um styling video on uh drop crotch pants next week um, I think that is it for me this week, you guys. So until next time, I wish you all happy sewing.